hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we will learn in this video how to restore default domain policies and default domain control policy means suppose by mistake default domain policies or default domain control policies renamed or uh, if you have changed something that is uh, that you are not able to find out uh, what we have changed in default domain policies and default domain control policy that is creating issue for your uh, domain environment machines like client machine or for your uh, servers so today I will show you in this video how you can uh, restore it as default so So now I am going to uh, show you. Let's open group policy management. This is my uh, 2K 2K16 server, and Windows Server 2016. But this will be applicable for all for all like uh, Windows 2K8. 2K12 or 2K16. So here you can see there are uh, two uh, group policy objects that is default domain controller policy and default domain policy and both are enabled. So for testing what I am going here just I am going to rename this policy I am going to rename this policy like default domain P for example or you can say for testing and we can do some changes here also and after restore we will check it is restored or not as default so for testing I am going to make changes for password policies or account policies so here you can see it is default 24 password re remembered so I am going to change it like 10 so I have changed this from 24 to 10 and now we'll check after restored it is restored as 24 or not and uh, default domain P that is dom default domain policies it is restored or not so now I am going to close it here uh, before uh, restore process I'll recommend to take backup of group policy objects so whatever policies are available here whatever policies you have implemented in your domain environment you can uh, go to group policy object right click and backup all so that uh, you can take backup of all group policies which are created so you can set here location from browse option so I am going to leave it as default I'll I'll take this backup on desktop and here you can mention description like policy backup yes you can see a two GPU were successfully backed up ok close and check it as I have select the location on desktop 
so these are the two policies now we'll try to restore so what you can do you can run cmd as administrator or you can also execute this command which i am going to run or you can run from powershell also so dc gpu fix and enter it is asking you can see here this utility can restore either both the default domain policy or the default domain domain control policy to the state that exists immediately after domain creation means after domain creation the uh, policies that is default domain policy and default domain control policy which is created uh, automatically or you can say by default so it will be restored in the same mode so before uh, restore you have to uh, note down whatever changes will be required for your domain environment for your client machine or for your uh, network so before uh, restore this please make a note down and also take a backup and now to restore you can see here do you want to continue so we have to enter here why yes and press enter warning this operation will replace all user rights assignment made in the chosen gpu this may cause some server application to fail do you want to continue yes so you have to uh, note down this these things like user right assignment and uh, other uh, policies which you have uh, changed as per your uh, domain policy as per your uh, domain environment and then press y enter the default domain control policy was restored successfully and the default domain control policies is linked to the default domain controllers ou yes and default domain policies default domain policies also restored here you can see default domain policy restored successfully and linked to the default domain policies and default domain control policies restored successfully and linked to the default domain control policy so now we'll check by launching group policy management console whatever changes we have done before restore that is change or not yes so you can see here as we have renamed this default domain policy as default domain p but now it is restored as default domain policy and we have also changed in this policy that is account policies and password policy yes so you can see here it is restored as default because we have uh, set this for 10 days for 10 password sorry for 10 password recommended but now it is restored as default that is 24 password recommended so in this way you can uh, restore default domain policy or default domain controller policy that is here default domain control policy and default domain policy means whatever changes you have done and you are not aware means you have you f if you forget what we have changed and due to that changes if your production or if your office environment uh, facing issue means user are not able to 
login or any other changes so you can restore this policies as default so guys I hope this video is helpful for you and uh, if you have to restore your default domain policy and default domain control policy so you can uh, restore in this way so I request you to please subscribe my channel for next upcoming videos thank you bye bye